Hello everyone, it's Piggy Bank bringing you another video. Today we have something a little different than usual. We are going to do a discussion about the new ARMS 3.2 update that's coming up. And I have a special guest with me today. We have Stick Boy in the show. Hello, Stick Boy. How are you doing? Hello, Piggy. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing really good. Thank you for joining. No problem. It's my pleasure. What do you think about the whole fact that they're releasing a trailer just for this update? Because they've never done this before um, other than when a new character comes out. Oh yeah, I guess you're right that they haven't released a, a trailer for an update. We knew about Max Brass pretty much before the game was released, didn't we? Or shortly afterwards. So yeah, this is the first for Nintendo. I don't know. I guess they have a plan for why they released it this way. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool. It's unique. I think because they don't have a direct or they already had a direct. So they don't really have um, somewhere to put in this new kind of update. So they just released a trailer for it. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, it's not like a direct is coming anytime soon. So of course, they would need to release the trailer on their own. But what I was thinking about was why would they have a trailer in the first place? Because they haven't done this kind of um, significant update uh, without having a character or a stage come out. So whatever update they're releasing soon, it must be a very significant update. So do you have any thoughts about that? Maybe we can talk about the badges um, that were shown. Yeah. That's probably the biggest thing to this update. And I think that's the main thing that Nintendo wanted to show off in this uh, trailer. Okay. Because it occupied a fair amount of time in the trailer, about 20 seconds, I think. And it, from what I, what I get from it is that it's basically an achievement system in arms to get people interested in playing the game for longer periods to collect all these achievements. So it's basically to, to funnel people to play the game longer. Mm. Yeah, and I agree with that because when I first saw the trailer without thinking much about it, I thought it was some kind of equipment system to power up your characters and stuff. But I've slowed down the video and realized that the words that were on the badges, it was just about how you got the badges rather than what the badges do. Uh, which implies that there is no actual function for badges uh, other than being cosmetic. But I don't want to rule out the possibility of it having some kind of effect uh, with the badges because so far we've only gotten footage of party mode and the badges being used there. Um, I didn't see any signs of the bad system being in the ranked mode. So with that in mind, it might be that party mode has some kind of equipment system. But of course, I don't really think it's a likely thing. I think, yeah, it's unlikely that the badge system is going to provide any kind of power up to any of your characters. I think that it's just simply there as an achievement system to give the players a reason to play ARMS. Yeah, because right now, if you're either tired of ranked or gotten all the ARMS, then really there's no reason to come back to the game other than the fact that you like to play ARMS. So um, for the casual players, the game doesn't have much else to hold them or um, keep them playing the game. Yeah. Let's start talking about the the training mode portion that they showed to me it kind of seemed like they were teasing some kind of changes that might be coming to the generic warming up mode um you know what i'm talking about right the in the yeah party it was matches. about about 30 seconds in they kind of showed the new stage they must be revamping then the warm-up session but there is also, if you look earlier in the trailer round, I think it was like 32 seconds in, it kind of showed like a, a tournament mode. I was thinking maybe it was connected to the, uh, before you go into like the main menu, in the bottom right, there's online events to opt into those. Right. 
And I was wondering if that is somehow tied into this new update, if they're finally doing something with the online events. Do you know how in party mode you have a floating head or in the tournament and it has like first to 20? It has first to 20, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a player in the far corner mm -hmm. that is floating. Yeah, with, with the badge on it. So it is some sort of tournament going on. I see. So you're saying that this first to 20 could be a tease, not for the private rooms, but for some kind of online event where people can participate and basically race to the finish. Yes. I see. I just found it weird that Nintendo added that feature into the game and haven't really done anything with it yet. Right. So this maybe is that, or I could be completely wrong, but that's my theory on this. Well, my, my guess is that um, this is just showing the training mode, uh, not training mode, the warm-up mode that's in the waiting area when you're in the party match. Okay. Um, right now, you, there's really no reason to play this mode other than you're extremely bored. Um, you do get a, an occasional golden target that gives you a coin, <laughs> which is not a big deal. Uh, um, but I'm starting to think that there might be some changes coming to this warm-up mode to make it a little more dynamic. Um, because right now, <laughs> waiting in the party match is just extremely dull. Well, usually you don't have very many... You don't have to wait very long in a party match. True. But That's is this true. in a in a private match, you're saying? It looks like a private match because of the background being dark. Because in party mode, online party mode, it's just like the background is blue. Okay, I get what you're saying. And yeah, that totally could be it. And maybe I'm just reading into it too much. In private parties where you have a tournament and you're sitting out, uh, you could be warming up, is what you're saying. That's my guess. But I do think that um, your, your idea could be just as um, likely. Well, I hope it's my idea. Yeah, I, I hope so too, honestly, because they haven't done anything with that online event thing. Yeah, and I was hoping that there would be something like it, because um, the thing that really makes Splatoon so special is that it has the Splatfest where it brings people to play the game, and if ARMS could somehow replicate that success and do the same thing for ARMS, then yeah, it would be great. Yeah, let's. we can hope, we can hope. So another thing it could be is that they might be teasing a new mode coming to this game. This might look similar to the warm-up mode, but maybe there's a little more to it than it seems because um, like you said, usually you don't wait too long in the party mode. So it would be strange if they added some kind of boss into the warm-up mode. So it could be that um, they're adding some kind of mode that um, adds to the generic training mode um, to make it a little more exciting or maybe <laughs> just to uh, have a new mode, honestly. <laughs> yeah, any new content added into ARMS will be widely accepted and it would, it would really help that game because I, I kind of have that feeling that it was it was released kind of bare bones. It didn't have a whole bunch of content. So any new content is, or any new mode is, is uh, greatly welcomed. Oh yeah, I, I completely re agree with that sentiment there. Well, but last but not least, um, they showed a little teaser of what appears to be Springman at the very end of the trailer. And it seems to have everyone puzzled. So do you have any thoughts on what that character might be? Honestly, no, I don't have an idea of what the character will be. Um... Okay, let me ask you in a different way then. Do you think it's Springman? No, because when you look at, I, th I think I stopped it right at 104 in the trailer and if you look right at that image you can see that it's clearly a different symbol on the chest of this character 
All different characters have different symbols on their chest. Or symbols for each different character. Springman has a big S. This one clearly has a T on its chest. So that tells me even though it looks like Springman, there's difference, uh, differences in its clothing. Um, he even looks like he's not even human or... or uh, so this is definitely a different character, but he looks like a Springman clone. I see. So I'm actually in the same exact line of thought here. Uh, if you see the character frame by frame, you'd be crazy to think that this is Springman. But I think the real question here is, um, what's the significance of this character? Um, do you think this will just be a standalone alternate version of Springman? No, I can't see it being a standalone version of Springman. Do you think this could just be a reskin of Springman? Like a completely same character, but just cooler. <laughs> For the lack of a better word. No, because if it was a reskin, it would still have the S on its chest, indicating that it's Springman. I see. So it's not it's not a reskin of Springman. It's a new character. I see. So you, you're saying if this was a reskin, reskin, it would just be Springman with a mask. With new colors, new masks. Yeah. I see. All right, that that makes sense actually. So we were talking about uh, a new mode coming to this game. Um, do you think this character might be relate related to that new mode? Perhaps some kind of um, new mode during party match, kind of like with how Headlock Scramble was a new mode. Yeah, it's it's funny that you asked that because um, once I realized that it was. A new character and that it wasn't Springman that's kind of my first initial thought is that this might be a new boss type character that might tie into a new mode so even though it might be a new character in the game it might not be a playable character in the game right it's sort of like how headlock is not playable yes exactly from... Aside from Headlock Scramble, yes, uh, which you could argue that is it's really not like the same character. No. And I kind of agree with what you're saying here because the idea I had was that perhaps there could be a mechanical version of each character because I kind of find it strange. I kind of find it strange to think that only Springman would have this alternate version. Um, because that's giving Springman too much special treatment. He's not even the most popular character. I mean, I get that he's the he's the main character, sort of. He's like the mascot of the game. Um, but even so, it, I don't think Springman did anything to deserve this kind of special treatment just yet. So, what I was thinking was that maybe this could be some kind of copycat character where um, this character can copy whatever character you're using and just be stronger than you uh, basically maybe even faster yeah that's definitely possible kind of like how someone assumes the head of headlock during the headlock scramble well now that you mention headlock scramble it kind of makes me wonder if this might be some kind of equipment um, that you could wear, kind of like with Headlock's head. Um, maybe any character can wear this and get some kind of power-up? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Each character could get a power-up. The only thing that throws me off is the, and I keep on going back to it, is the symbol on the chest of the character. Right, right. It wouldn't make sense for Springman to have a power-up and his chest symbol to be now from an S to a T. Right, okay. That, that, that's a valid point. Hmm. So it does seem a little unlikely that this could be some kind of equipment for each character. Um, so piggybacking off of your idea about a new mode and this character possibly being 
uh, a boss type character for that mode. My guess is that, I mean, okay, call me crazy, but what if this is a very final boss that you fight after Headlock, but um, this character just copies you the entire time? So what you're saying is something like um, in Smash, there was like you could train Amiibo, um, something like that, where it kind of learns how to fight and it can fight against you, is what you're saying? Actually, I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's a totally crazy idea that... So can you elaborate on that idea? Well, I don't know too much about this in Smash, but I, I know that you can train your amiibo uh, in Smash to have a certain fighting style or to have your fighting style. Maybe Nintendo could have found some way that they can track your fighting style and have it in this character that you can fight against as a boss wow. in the Grand Prix. I don't know. It's uh, it has Nintendo hasn't been very far off of it, so maybe they can do something like that. So, it's crazy, but so essentially a training bot. Yeah. And this could be Inception here. You told me that this symbol was a T, so yep. maybe this T stands for training bot. <laughs> Call me pretty crazy. <laughs> That would be awesome! Because, okay, Springman has an S for Springman, right? So maybe this T stands for training. Yes, and that could even tie back into what you were saying with um, the sparring ring and everything. So maybe there is more to this training mode than we think. Oh, wow. Yeah, because um, from the hardcore fans, uh, when the game first came out, um, people were training, uh, not, not training, <laughs> people were complaining about uh, lack of depth in training mode. So perhaps this is an effort to um, kind of fix that. Well, they have added new uh, stages to the training mode back in the 2.0 update. Right, they did. They did make an effort to make it better. Yes, so maybe this is a step further. They see they see the data coming from the game and and uh, maybe they, they think that they need to add more I training. see, so, so the developers are secretly looking at the data from the game and finding out people's habits and thinking, oh no, we need to train them more. <laughs> well, that, they're always looking at the data. Like they, they closely look at the data for multiplayer games or competitive games like that to make sure that it's balanced. and. Um, I don't know, uh, Nintendo's finding some way uh, with this update to make more content in this game. It's quite interesting with this update, uh, and the theories are, are quite vast. So I'm interested to see once this update finally releases how close we were with our predictions. But yeah, it, it could be that, uh, that the... It's a training bot? I don't know. Yeah, it, it really is hard to tell. I mean, I was going to go with it being a final boss for the Grand Prix, but the more we talk about it, I kind of think that it could be something else. And the more I think about that possibility, like the more I get confused. <laughs> We're just going to have to wait and see when the update comes out. I don't think that um, that there is going to be anything added to Grand Prix other than new characters are going to be added into the Grand Prix. I don't think a new boss is going to be added. It's going to be as it is right now. One more thing that I th that I realized was uh, when do you think will be the release date of this patch? So far, Nintendo has said that it will be sometime during October. So, what's your guess on this? Okay, so my guess is that it's not going to release um, on a Friday. Friday is usually a Splatoon kind of update day. Um, Friday, they have the major release of Odyssey that that Friday. So I imagine oh. that it would be that it would be before Odyssey releases before they would want to release this update. 
Oh, okay. So you you think it will be before Odyssey? That's yes. a fair point because once Odyssey comes out, people will be playing that, and even this update stands no chance in grabbing people's attention. I think that this update will be dropped on us sooner than we think. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking a week from. I'm I'm thinking that it'll be dropped on a Tuesday, most likely. Okay. And it'll probably be dropped before Odyssey, on. right? As you were saying. Yeah, uh, I think that it would probably be dropped on the seventeenth. Oh, seventeenth. Yeah. Because Odyssey comes out on the twentieth, was it? Odyssey comes out on the twenty seventh. Oh, twenty seventh. Okay. Um. Twentieth. And is, uh, that Fire is Emblem. that is before uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. On the 20th? Yeah. Okay, and so... it seems like... Um, it seems like... It could actually be the 17th or the 18th. I see, because 17th or 18th. It'll be dropped earlier in the week, early to midweek, but that's when the, the 3.0 update dropped was on the Wednesday... Yes, it was. ...of the, of the uh, Direct. Mm-hmm. So it could and be I believe or that the Max Brass update was some, somewhere dropped in Tuesday or Wednesday as well. I see. I'm gonna have to check back on that because I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure usually those updates are 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 then. And it seems like lately game releases have been um, like uh, the indie releases have been Thursdays lately. So. And my guess is is the 17th or the 18th, and that's pretty specific. But I can't really see him holding off too longer because everybody's going to be playing Odyssey. Let's be honest. Right. Who's going to have time for ARMS when Odyssey comes out? Oh, yeah. It's, it's sad, but it's very true. So I looked this up, and it turns out that um, even Max Brass update was out on a Wednesday. Okay. So... I would look to a Wednesday then. Yeah. Okay. That 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 seems more likely given the history of um, the update so far. I wouldn't. I'd be very if it's uh, this coming Wednesday, but it'll probably be next Wednesday. Right. And that's actually what I was going to talk about. Um. I kind of think that um. Because of Splatoon 2 Splatfest that's coming up um next week, I I don't think it will be next week. I think uh, it will be the Wednesday after this Splatfest. So yeah, this is looking to be very uh, promising and uh, <laughs> let's see if we are right with the date. If we are, then... <laughs> I'd be very surprised if I'm right with the date, but I'll be the first one to say I told you so if I get the date right. <laughs> oh yeah, get ready for it because I, I think you're right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So... Yep. So that's all we have for this discussion. Thanks again, Sick Boy, for joining in, and I really hope to see you around for a different discussion soon. Thanks for having me, Piggy. You can find Sick Boy in his YouTube channel and his Twitter. The links are in the description, and the link to his channel should be showing up on the screen about now. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope to do more discussions in the future. Be sure to subscribe for more ARMS content, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.